Hey, it's the Midnight Round, and today we're going to go through another Timu bag. So, I'm not going to tell you how much the prices are because it just takes too long. And this is a fairly big haul. So, if you don't know what Timu is, Timu is a website. Um, it also has an app. Um, I personally have both of them because some things I find on the app I don't find on the website. If you want to use my affiliate links, I do get a little incentive every time you use them. They are always in the description of every video. Let's take a gander. So I'm going to get everything out first. And then we shall have a look-see on what we got. So we've got a bit of, I won't say a bit of everything. Um, we've got a lot of pins today. I've, I've been on a pin troll, as they call it. Um, and I've got a lot of pins. So we ain't going to do all the pins at once. Um... But we'll start with a pin and then we will carry on and go between the two. So, Timu isn't that expensive, depending on what you're looking for. Now, I have a collection of pins and my pins range from maybe a pound to two pounds. Some of them I've got for 50p. Uh, it all depends how hard you're willing to look on the app. Uh, whether you look on certain days, whether you end up getting deals. This one doesn't seem to want to open. We'll come back to that one. Okay, let's do this one then. Okay, so I collect pins. I am a pin hoarder. Um, so this pin says, Revenge is beneath me. Accidents, however, will happen. Generally, they're usually about a pound, 125, and I have an entire pin board just full of them. And I just collect them. I don't collect every pin I find on Timu. I'm, I'm not like that. I collect things that resonate with me, have a connection, uh, are to do with being goth, or Horus is usually another one. This one was quite cool. This says the Serotonin Deficiency Club. Now, if you didn't know, I currently have a deficiency in at least four different vitamins, and this is the VIP Members Only Deficiency Club. You can see my skin is all dried out and patchy, my lips are cracked, I have been sick for nearly three weeks, um, it's not good. So most of the pins are quite cheap, let's do one more pin and then we'll look at something else. So another pin, so you will find all my pins have a connection, this one says the invisible illness club, now the invisible illness for me is that I am half deaf. <laughs> I have 25% hearing loss in one ear and 50% loss in the other. Uh, I don't have a hearing aid quite yet. Uh, further down the line, more than likely going to need hearing aids. Uh, but in, at the minute, I am in the invisible illness club. I also have spinal stenosis, which you obviously can't see because it's in my spine, which is, which is a degenerate spinal condition. And I also have a mental health illness. So I am fully fledged in the illness club but they are not visible illnesses per se so let's have a look at something i bought my son so my son loves chinese food absolutely obsessed with eating chinese he loves his rice and everything and i managed to pick up these now these are proper authentic supposedly uh, tools to use with your Japanese, Chinese, Thai. So we've got a fork and a spoon. And he's always wanted to learn chopsticks to use them. And I must say, I am, um, I'm not really um, accustomed to using chopsticks. Uh, but he um, tried when he went to like a, he went to a noodle bar. And he tried, and he wants to practice. So I've got him them so he can he can practice using chopsticks for noodles or rice or whatever he wants. And they're a really nice little set. They weren't that expensive either. Because I don't spend a huge amount on Timu. Stuff I usually buy is either reduced, end of line, or I've got some money off. Okay, let's look at another pin. And we'll mix the pins in because I don't want you to get bored. Okay, the next pin was a very long one. This says, no, you're right. Let's do it the dumbass way, possibly to make it easier for you. Do you ever have a work colleague that's just like so insistent on doing it the stupid way? 
but you know it makes it easier for them but it's not easier overall and i kind of like the color of the pin it's actually green compared to the white which is also kind of cool and um we'll do one more pin and then we'll do something else so I spent most of the time buying pins. This one says, Dear Karma, I have a list of people you missed. <laughs> this one's quite cool. <laughs> Do you remember? Karma has no deadline. And some people need some karma. Oh, so I got that. Okay, next thing. Not very interesting, but I got one of these. I finally bit the bullet and I needed one of these. Um... At night when I charge my phone, uh, I charge my phone, I charge my portable chargers, and I'm I've, I've just intertwining bloody sockets all the time. So I've got one of these, um, and it's a USB 2.0, four ports. You've got the one at the front, the one's up there, and then I just plug it into my laptop and I can charge my phone, my portable charger, all at the same time, because it's just annoying. Um, this was a, it was a couple of quid. It wasn't overly expensive. Uh, I have tested it, and it does work. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, let's take a look at these. So these were some coasters I picked up. So I bought some coasters ages and ages ago, and I didn't really like them. They were really cheap from like Poundland or something at Halloween. Didn't really like them. Now I got some of these ones, and these are silicone ones. These aren't plastic, these are not plasticky, plasticky. These are silicone, so they're white clean. And you can actually put these in like car cup holders and stuff like that. Um, in the little cup holders you have in your car, so when you stand your drink on. Me, I personally, I can just use it on my table. Obviously my goblets don't fit on there because they're too big. Um, but you got two, and I think they were like two quid or something. They've obviously got the, uh, you can't see it now, the spider's web design. Um, so they were kind of cool. Got another pin. Now this pin was from a TV program called Bad Omens. Or was it Omens? I can't remember. Me and my ex were watching this. I think it was Bad Omens. Then they're doing a third season um and it's obviously got the guy that does doctor who or used to do doctor who and then the other guy um so i got that um i love that i think it's bad omens or omens i can't remember we've, we've been watching it um but they've just got a new season come out um that's due to come out they've um authorized it or, or whatever you do to get a new season next i got this really adorable little bat pin as you can see, a little adorable bat there. It's got a little heart in the middle. Uh, this reminds me of my little vampire teddy. If you know when you've watched my live streams, I've got a vampire bat teddy weird thing, as people call it. So that was like that. Okay, let's do something that isn't a pin. Okay, let's do this one. So my idea is to go back to work eventually. If you didn't know, I am still currently signed off sick due to mental health and other extenuating circumstances and i wanted a set to go back to work with i did buy a previous one um but this one was a bit more heavy duty with the case and everything because i have to travel and it comes like this it is a green color you do get a spoon you get a fork and just on the off chance that you can find somewhere or if you take noodles and stuff to work we do have some chopsticks is it all well? Never used chopsticks myself. As as I said, me and my son are learning to use chopsticks. I personally don't eat a lot of Chinese noodles, that kind of thing. So I'm more for like the spoon and, and the fork. Any idea why you never get a knife in a set like this? Any idea? Comes in a hard wearing plastic case as well, which will come in handy because I do just throw it in my bag like willy nilly. <laughs> It is just thrown in my bag half the time. Um, but nice heavy duty case. That was a couple of quid as well. I like how it came in the little sheaf as well. And it was in there separately. So it didn't get like all banged up and scratched. Okay, another pin I got. This says, don't be afraid. I am the cure. And it's one of the um, 
the death doctor kind of plague masks. <coughs> as you well know, I am sick as a dog. And this says, don't be afraid, I am the cure. And that is a plague doctor with the mask. Because during the Black Plague, people were wearing masks. Because you could pass the Black Plague by breathing, kind of like COVID. Um, that was kind of cool. <clears throat> Got another pin. This pin was quite cool. This one said, professional binge watcher. And it's a little, <laughs> it's a little skeleton like, uh-huh. But you can't really binge watch stuff anymore because places like Netflix and Amazon and all of that, they bring out things episodically now where they bring out one episode a week. So you can't even binge watch now. That's a bit naff, but I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, something other than pins. We've got some brushes. So if you didn't know recently, my skin keeps breaking out. And that is due to a vitamin D deficiency, zinc deficiency, B12, and vitamin C, and D, and the whole bloody alphabet, really. Um, and I bought a foundation while I was away for my sister's birthday, and um, the woman in the store said to apply it with my finger. So I thought about doing that. And then thought against it because I thought if my skin is kind of red and irritated kind of thing, I don't really really want to be putting my finger on it because if I transfer anything. Um, so I've got a... I've just lost one. <laughs> I had seven brushes. i got a set of brushes. They're pretty cheap ones. To... Oh, I've lost the bloody brush. I have seven brushes. Just, just imagine seven, yeah? Or eight, whichever it was. Um, they're kind of green in colour, I don't know if you can see that, we've got a blush brush, you've got a foundation, you've got little eyeshadow brushes, got little angle brushes, I don't know what I've done with the other brush, it's in there somewhere, oh here it is, um, so I've got all of those, I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight of them, all different ones, angled ones and everything, the best thing about it is that they come in their own little plastic wallet, and I can put them while I travel uh, to my sisters or when I go out again and keep them in there so they're nice and hygienic and safe. And I can put my foundation on and cover my blemishes around here. I only put a very light sprinkling. It's just to take the colour down a bit. And she said it would be perfectly fine when I spoke to the NYX uh, makeup professional that gave me the advice on how to get the redness down but not to actually irritate it um, and not to put makeup on every day uh, but every other day or something like that was fine this one says love you to the tomb and back again another pin love you to the tomb and back which I thought was also kind of cool <clears throat> one day I will go through my entire pin collection with you because boy I'm sure you want to see it right and then the next pin I picked up was in memory of when I gave a SHIT, can't say it because I'll get demonetized, but you can you can read. So <laughs> I thought that one was quite cool. It's a very simple pin, yet it has a very effective punchline. Okay, something else other than pins, because we've only got two pins left. I got a ring. Now I don't very often buy jewellery. I'm not really one for buying jewelry I, I detest wearing it but i found this really cute i don't know if you can see it bird kind of raven slash crow it's meant to be and it fits like a glove perfectly obviously i wouldn't keep it on my wedding ring finger but it kind of fits really nicely and it doesn't go down or anything. Uh, I got a size 6, just in case anyone's wondering. Size 6 is about an eye in rings. Because when I had an engagement ring, we had to get it sized down. Because my fingers are too tiny. So it's an eye. I think it's one above a kid ring. Um, that was a couple of quid as well. Okay, let's do some socks. You know I love socks. I love socks. You love socks. We all love socks. So you could go on there and you could get five mystery pairs of socks or ten mystery pairs of socks and they were just plain colours. But you could get everything from bright pink 
bright orange, a luminous yellow. You couldn't pick the socks, they were just five or ten random pairs. Amazingly enough, I didn't get that bad of socks, so they sent me a grey pair, although they're probably showing up as blue. They are a metal grey pair of socks. We got a teal green pair of socks, probably showing up different on camera, as the blue filament in my laptop always seems to. We got a black pair, perfect for work. <clears throat> we got a white pair, I'm not such a fan of wearing white because they do fade ever so quickly. Ever so quickly, but I mean, you, you can't tell. And then we have a pale pinky colour. Again, not really my colour, but at least it wasn't the bright neon pinks um, that they had. They had a bright neon pink, there was bright yellow, bright orange, um, there was brown, there, there was a bunch of colours. So you could get five or ten pairs. They were around, I think it was three fifty or four pounds, which isn't bad considering if you go to Primark, you pay a pound for a pair of socks on average. Okay, I think we have two more pins, and then I will show you the hair bands I bought for work. So next, it says it's okay if your serotonin is store bought. If you didn't know, I do actually take vitamin D supplements, uh, they are god awful and make you feel incredibly sick, I take 20,000 units every Monday and they make you feel awfully queasy and sick for about 24 hours, so I got this because I thought that was funny, the amount that I actually have to take just to survive. Next I got this pin, now obviously Chinese New Year has been and gone, but I thought this was such a cool pin that they had for Chinese New Year. Obviously, it is the Year of the Dragon, and this was perfect. They had it in silvery white colour or black. I obviously went for the black. Okay. So, I'll show you the hairbands, and I'll show you the other things. So, I got... 30 hair bands in different colours. This is for work. I don't know about you, but if you ever had hair bands for work and they materially just disappear off the face of the planet? Yes, me too. So, I got a bunch. So we've got a couple of black, got a black and a blue. Uh, we've got another blue. And these are just 30 random ones. You've got teal green, you got lime green, you got like royal green or dark green. Got another green. Got a couple of colours that I'm not so fond of wearing. You've got a couple of oranges kind of thing. Got a couple of goldy colours as well. They're probably showing up really different on camera, I guarantee you. You got a couple of pinks, like all different corals. <clears throat> we've got some really bright colours, look at these, look, like proper bright, they're probably not showing on camera very well because the filament in my camera is just awful, um, we've got some darker colours, you've got some browns and stuff, like a metallic and some browns, got a couple of grey ones, got a couple of purple ones, Kind of a lavender, a darker one, and a pinky one. Got a teal green to match my shoes. Um, you've got like another brown one. And then we've got a couple of white ones. So in total, I think it was four pounds something, but there's 30 in that. Now I don't know about you, but I'm always losing my hair bands. I take them off at work. Or I come home and I untie my hair and I put it down and then I can never find them. So I thought, you know what, for £4 I'm going to buy 30 um, so that I can have ones in my bags, ones at work in my locker or wherever. Take a couple of hairbands when I go away to my sisters or when I, when I go away on holiday and stuff. And just have hairbands around so when I need one I can just be like, oh yeah I had some in my bag the other day. Or, I had them at work and, you know, find them. 
And then the last thing that we got, which is probably going to be hard to explain, but I'm going to try to. These were Cthulhu creatures. I want to call them Cthulhu creatures. Uh, let me see if I can get the, the thing up for you. Because um, it would be easier if they explained it rather than me. Um, so, the item in question was these. And these were... I wonder if I can get them. Oh, hang on. Just trying to get the, the right item up. Uh, one minute. Okay, so these were 120 pieces of Cthulhu Mythos monster pictures. And they look like this. I mean, there's all different ones. Like this. And they look pretty amazing and there is a hundred and twenty of these they were like three or four pounds there's like 120 of these so you'll see these in upcoming videos down the line but you've got like this really weird like squid thing and then if I see if I can show you some more you'll see these in some upcoming videos that I'm gonna do so you've got squid Got like this weird birdie thing. Got this other winged thing as well. And they're all like weird creatures and stuff. Um, they've got information and everything about them. Like that looks like a mole rat, if I'm really honest. And like weird little creatures like that. Um, there's 120 all together. Um, I plan to show them off on some like YouTube shorts or something at some point. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I collect like weird things, like I collected the anatomical pictures that were in a different hall, if you saw that. But yeah, that was everything I picked up. That was a fairly big haul for me. I don't generally buy that amount, um, but everything I bought has a purpose. Obviously the pins are for my own sake, because it is a hobby of mine. Um, and I'm allowed to have a hobby and an interest because the world would be boring if we didn't have stuff like that. But if you want to like and subscribe and help the channel, a PayPal, Super Chat, Tibby Thanks, become a member, join the Raven family. Um, if you want to help me out in any other way, you can also support the channel by using the affiliate links in the description. I did pay for the haul, it's not sponsored or anything like that. If you want to like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Follow me also on TikTok. Um, uh, Facebook Reels or Instagram and I will see you very soon for another Timu haul. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.